Hi, I'm Brett Slacken, a software engineer on the Google App Engine team. App Engine enables developers to build web applications on Google's infrastructure. I'm here today to show you how to quickly build a guestbook application using App Engine. Let's get started. First, I'll create a directory for my new application and bring it into my editor. Then I'll create an app.yaml file with my application configuration. I'll type my application name, version of this application, in this case, the first version, version of the APIs I'm going to be using, and the runtime, which is Python. Then I declare how my URLs are going to map to my application. In this case, I'm going to have all URLs go to a single Python script called main. I'll create my main Python file. I'll type in a very basic Hello World application. Now I'll go to the terminal and start the development web server. And now that the server is running, I can go and view the Hello World application. Now let's do something more complicated and build a web application. To do this, we've provided a very basic web application framework called WebApp. I'll import the WebApp module and then define a handler which will handle the requests from application. The methods of this class will handle HTTP requests. In this case, I just want to handle a GET request, and I'll print out a Hello World message. To execute my handler, I'll use WSGIREF, which is Python's standard web application container. And I'll define a WSGI application to route all URLs access to my really basic handler. And of course, tell Python to run my main function. Now let's view this in our browser. Great, showed up, and it's working. Now let's use some templates to make this page look better. We provide a basic library for doing this. Let's create a template file using Django templates. To begin with, I'll just have some HTML that says hello world. I'll import our template module and then render the template. And then I can view this in my browser. Now let's implement a basic UI for our web application. I'll go back into my template file and start writing my UI in HTML. So first, I'll have a form. In this case, I want to post. And the form will have a couple of fields. Since it's a guest book, let's start off with just the message I want to have. In this case, it's just a text field with a message. And we'll change the submit button to say shout. And now we can go back and view this in our browser. So let's have our web application handle the post request and then do something more interesting. I'll modify my handler to handle the post request as well as the get request. Now let's hook this up to the data store. To use the data store, I'll import the DB module and define a model class that says what fields we'll have to store in the data store. In this case, my model class will be called shout. And I'll have two fields. First, the message. 
and then the time that the message was left. Now in the post method, I'll use the request parameters to create a new shout and put it in the data store. Then I'll re redirect the user back to the main page. Then I can go back to my browser and see this is working right now. Now we're handling posts and putting data in the data store, but we're not retrieving it. So let's create a query to get the data back out and present it to the user. To do this, I'll create a GQL query. And then I'll use the results of the query to populate my templates and pass those values into the template renderer. Then if I go into my template, I can use the results of the query and render them to the user. In this case, I'm using Django templates. Now I can go back to my browser and see that this is immediately working. And there are my two requests from before. Now I can type a few more messages. You'll see they're not in any particular order, so I'd like to add a sort order to my query. New messages go to the top. I'll modify my model to have another property, which is who sent the message. In this case, it's optional because some of the messages were sent without an explicit sender. Then I can go to my template and add that new field. It'd also be good to have labels on these input fields. And then I need to make sure that when I create my shot, I've correctly populated the who field. I'd also like to render who sent each message. So I'll go back to my template and add that too. In the case the who field's empty, I'll just say it's from anonymous. Now let's go back to the browser and see what this looks like. You can see all the messages are from anonymous because none of them had a sender. Let's add a new one with a sender for me. You'll see my name's appeared. One last thing I'm going to do is fix the title to point out that this is my application called Shoutout. To deploy this application, I'll use the app config tool. I'll just type app config update to deploy my application, and then the name of the application directory. And we're done. Now I can access this application on appspot.com. Now let's leave a message. That's it. We built an application and deployed it. We hope that you check out Google App Engine. We look forward to hearing your comments. If you'd like to learn more about App Engine, please join us at Google I.O., Google's developer event, taking place on May 28th and 29th. Thanks for watching.